These Colombian motorists have driven through Europe on two wheels to ask for the release of all the hostages in the world. They traveled more than 5,000 miles from Madrid to Rome. There they greeted the Pope and gave him the helmet of liberty. Saludo con afecto a los peregrinos de lengua española. Que participan en esta oración mariana, en particular a los fieles provenientes de Colombia. We ask the Holy Father to greet the motorists that travel through Spain, France, and now Italy to ask the Lord for the liberation of all the hostages around the world. 140 motorists made up the caravan. The idea came from a Colombian that's become the voice of hostages and their families. A few years back, I was driving through the streets of Colombia with a group of handicapped men in wheelchairs. They were also asking for the liberty of those captured. When I saw them in their wheelchairs putting their superhuman effort forward, crossing the mountains of Colombia, asking for the liberty of the hostages, I said, how is it possible that we haven't done anything with these great motorcycles? In Colombia, there are more than 3,000 civilians and 23 military personnel being held hostage by the FARC for some 11 years. 23 other countries, including Mexico, Iraq, and Chechnya, also have their share of hostages. There are people dying that are tied to trees that no one thinks about. No one thinks about the torture of being held captive that still exists. We have to get these people to freedom because they are dying on us. Those who took part in the caravan are asking the international community to become more sensitive to the issue, so as to liberate their family members and so no more people are taken hostage. They're living through many years of suffering, waiting for their sons, daughters, parents or brothers to return home. But they still have hope. As long as they're alive, there is hope that we can free them. The only thing we ask the captors is to keep them alive. We will move heaven and earth to get them home again. The caravan is going back to Colombia, but they will keep working towards freedom. Their next trip will be to Russia to meet with the Patriarch of the Orthodox Church, then Central America and the United States to meet with Nobel Peace Prize winner, President Barack Obama.